Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about which is the Fiori app that you should be using for the transaction code which is very brand new in S4HANA which is F-A-G-L-L-0-3-H and uh, so first thing we have to do is I'll just copy this, I don't want to type much okay, I go to this Fiori apps library I go to all apps and here I'll just provide this name okay, so here I'll give this name and if you have any transaction code that you want to use, you want to find a Fury app, you can get it from here. So here you can see display GL account line items. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I, I, I will go to my uh, my Fury launchpad. And here, before I checked FBL5N, now I'll check display GL. So here you can see display GL account balances. Okay let's click on that okay and again based on based on what is your settings okay so here you might see the company code is defaulting and all those things so this happens because i have created a, a default for my for my settings for company code how you will get how you can do that you can click on here it's very easy click on settings and you go to default values and here if you see i have mentioned company code and here it's a it's a it's a it's a interval 1700 to 1710 okay so i click cancel and i click cancel and i'll so this is showing now i'll click on go and fill in all required fields so here i'll put 2020 and here i'll click go okay and so this is similar to FIGLL03H. Here you get all the information. Okay. And here you can see all this information that is there. Now here you have something called compare where you can see the different balances. Okay. Based on the period opening balance. And if I do compare, I get this balance 2020 comparison year 2019. Okay. So th this is really helpful. Uh, now here you can give different gl accounts okay now you might say okay i might need so this is you can see this is if i click on previous period i can see the previous period if i go more first previous period i can get more information out here okay so this is very very helpful and if you want in different currency this is based on usd okay you can you can get different currencies also if I click on compare now you can see if you want cumulative balance you can see the cumulative balance and if you want to yeah so here you have this information now if you want to share this you can send in an email or save it as a tile so this way you can get all this information and this is very helpful and you can you can also manage different variants okay for this probably you need some extra um, authorization but since i don't have it you can i cannot do but you know you can always save variants and to do accordingly so that's it stay tuned to my sap channel and happy sap learning and have a